Welcome back to Arthritis Now, brought to you by the Arthritis National Research Foundation. Today, we continue talking to Dr. Massimo Bettini about his research in nanomedicine. If you missed part one, you can check it out right here. But if not, sit back and relax as we answer one of your questions. When you were funded by the Arthritis National Research Foundation, what did that mean to you? I was funded in 2011, 2012. Uh, it was a great honor and a huge boost to entirely dedicate my nanotechnology research to arthritis. And, and with your current research, what do you hope to achieve? Well, um, of course, I would love to say that I will find a cure for arthritis. This is the dream of each scientist to find a cure for a disease, cancer, arthritis. Uh, of course, it's not like that. Scientific research is like a huge puzzle, and each scientist puts only one but very important piece of the puzzle. Personally, I hope to de develop new uh, delivery systems that other scientists can use to deliver their drugs more efficiently to the desired targets. So it's more of a collaborative effort to kind of find... Yes, this is how science works. It's a collaboration. We are a huge worldwide team trying to find a cure for a specific disease. In my case, well, me and my brother are a nano team, but we're in connection with uh, worldwide with all the other scientists. We keep reading papers and to exchange ideas. Um, so from a scientific perspective, why is research the answer to finding a cure for chronic diseases, do you think? Well, uh, re scientific research can help us to obtain the remission of a disease by finally controlling the delivery of drugs into a specific tissue and uh, this will ultimately make it possible to control specific biochemical pathways and block or even reverse the progression of a chronic disease. And that's kind of what your research is kind of understanding. Yes, this is basically the final target, the, the purpose of fabricating nanodrugs is to be able to concentrate the drugs in a specific place in the human body. In this way, we are able to control the distribution in time and space of the drugs. We can decrease the amount of the used drug and therefore to improve the so-called therapeutic index of a drug. In case of uh, rheumatoid arthritis, if our target, for instance, is the macrophages uh, in the synovium, we would like to concentrate our drugs only in the macrophages on the synovium. In this way, we can just attack the macrophages without interfering with the behavior of the other cells in the, in the, um, in the synovium, for instance, the chondrocytes in the cartilage. And I feel like that would be a, a great, um, we research, you know, successfully would be great for patients because they don't have to you know, take so many medications that, you know, might not work for them. You know, it's less is, less is more is kind of. Exactly. Yeah. This is the final target. So we asked our audience to submit a question to you about your research, and we actually received one from Amy Espinoza, uh, who can be found online at fitamy underscore RA. And she asked, um, how does nanomedicine play a role um, in the future related to RA and other diseases? And what, what's on the horizon? Well, I would love to say that nanomedicine will be the future of medicine. Uh, yeah. This is how uh, research is going. So traditional medicine was just the, uh, the use of small molecules and biomicromolecules. And now what scientists, but also pharmaceutical companies are, are, are doing is to use nanodrugs. Therefore, nano, the use of nanodrugs will be the future and hopefully um, I would love to say I hope that the use of nanodrugs will help us to uh, fight against not only arthritis, also cancer and other, other, other type of diseases. Well, Dr. Bottini, thank you very much for shedding some light on your research. I really appreciate it. Um, and thank you for your time. And we hope to, we wish you the best of luck. And um, we hope to talk to you soon. Yeah, it has <laughs> been a pleasure and it was nice to talk to you. And thank you very much for this opportunity. No problem. Thanks. Thanks for watching part two of our interview with Dr. Bettini. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this video on Facebook and Twitter to raise awareness about the need for more arthritis research.